living, living life in college, that sort of thing. Um, since I did go on an unannounced hiatus, since I did go on an unannounced hiatus, I so to jump back into filming videos, I decided to film my April plan with me. If you guys don't know, I do keep a bullet journal. A couple of my videos have been bullet journal oriented. Um, and I've been meaning to do plan with me's every month since January. Um, but you know what? Better late than never. I'm going to start now in April. So I guess it be like that sometimes, okay? And to not make you guys wait any longer for this lovely content, um, why don't we just get into the video? So first we're gonna start with the cover page. This month's theme is honeycomb and bees. So I'm gonna draw large honeycombs, what it looks like, but I am actually going to switch to much smaller ones later on in the video. Um, and then I'm gonna draw a couple bees and I'm going to use like brow and paper bag that I cut up to go over where the name or where the word April is going to be. All of the pens and markers I will be using are gonna be linked in the description. These are just my Crayola super tips. For April, I'm actually gonna be using my black Tombow Fudenosuke brush pen and then using a white ink pen as the drop shadow because I think it, it makes it look really cute and pops a little more. Moving on to the month at a glance, um, I'm just drawing a bunch of honeycombs. I freehanded it, you're more than welcome to use a ruler. It probably would have made it more even if you use a ruler. Um, I start my weeks on Mondays, so my calendar may look different than a, a generic calendar. Just keep that in mind when following along that I start my weeks on Mondays. And then I'm going to actually change this April with another uh, piece of that brown paper later on, as you'll see in the video. And I'm just adding a couple more honey dripping details to the spread. On to the next page, we have my habit tracker and here we're just, I'm just doing the same setup I usually do, which is just um, boxing out the calendar and then I'm going to add honeycombs in the background. Going in with my one of my brush pens, I'm just boxing out where I'm gonna put each of my habits with black and then going over it with my white ink pen. Now onto my mood tracker. I'm drawing just bigger honeycombs for each day of the month, and then I'm gonna go over it with my gel pen and put a little key on the side. And then I'm going to add a quote to the bottom that says, Has a bee ever landed on you and instead of getting scared, you appreciated the possibility that you got confused for a flower. And then I'm going to do a little bee doodle with some flowers on the side. Because I thought that was a cute way to, you know, get some positive energy up in here. <laughs> and then next I have my expense tracker on the left side of the page where I'm just doing a simple box with the date, the expense, and the, and the price. I'm drawing a tree and then a beehive with a little bee coming out. Um, and I do write be happy on the bottom, but I totally did not take the opportunity to put two E's until later on, so forgive me. And then on the right side of the page, I put a bumblebee's to-do. This is where I keep my to-do list. I draw a little bit of honeycombs and it's a pretty simple spread until I fill it out later. So on my brain dump page, I wrote a quote at the top that says, The quickest way to find honey is to follow the bees. There's some honeycombs in each corner of the page, and this is where I just jot down my ideas. So moving on to the very first week of April, I take that brown piece of paper again, 
and I write in my boxed April with my white drop shadow and then just the days of the week. I draw in my honeycombs with one of my Crayola super tips and I outline it with my gel pen. I just write out the days of the week and that's it for this spread. And here's a quick flip through of my April bullet journal spread. And yeah, that's it for the spread. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this month's theme. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully I will be keeping up with actually posting my monthly plan with me as I really want to. Let me know what theme you guys want to see next month the month of May and I'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, as always, have a lovely day and spread that kindness around um, all those positive vibes, my dudes. Alright, alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.